Hello everyone. At Zenfi, we know uh, as part of the IT team, you need to focus on the strategic projects. But at the same time, there's a lot of small requests keep coming in through different channels. Now, this could be whether someone raising a uh, Jira support ticket to offer an employee or raising another uh, Zender support ticket to create a new Google group for them. We perfectly understand how much of distraction this can be for you and uh, from focusing on the strategic projects. Hence, we've uh, recently added a ton of new features to Zenfi to enable you to easily automate those uh, repetitive Google Workspace admin tasks. Now, today I want to show you quickly uh, a few possibilities there, and hopefully you can uh, get the time to uh, dive in a bit uh, more deeper yourself or attend one of our webinars. Now, about the um, admin tasks, we're talking about it could be something as uh, simple as uh, updating email signatures across the company. So your marketing team may be running an event, and during a certain time period, they want email signature everyone to be updated across the company. Now, we you can easily do that with Zenfi. You know, um, we have added a lot of new uh, actions here on the Google Workspace. So like in this example, we are using um, set email signature down here. So what we're basically is as simple as, you know, uh, retrieving a list of users and you can limit it however you, uh, would suit you. We're using Google Docs as a template for our email signature. You can use HTML or any, any other format. And we're just looking through it and individually updating it. All can be done uh, in Zenfi or with a few drag and drops and saves you a ton of time. Um, but uh, talking about Google Workspace, employee onboarding and offboarding from Google Workspace is a last mile which always falls on the IT. And there's a lot of tasks for you to do. Again, you can close the uh, close the automation loop there with Zenfi easily to easily create in this instance. For example, someone sends a request to a form, can be Google form, any other form, type of form. Or we can even listen to your HR system automatically when a, a user is added there, you know, go and provision a, a new Google Workspace user for that person and um, generate a password, you know, add them to the relative groups which we have identified and uh, also at the same time update their email signature and send a password, notify the manager, send a password to the manager to be shared to that employee on the first day. But then again, uh, I guess the em employee offboarding is also the tricky one because there's quite a few things to be done when you offer an employee and it means it could be a permanent employee or a contractor or someone who worked with you for a short term period so luckily with Zenfi again we have added like in this example we initiating the process from um from a form but again can be from a Jira service desk or any other system being triggered you know uh we say hey we want to um and uh, uh, we want to offboard this employee, and that means as part of that, we want to go update the recovery email to um, so that the employee can or the contractor can now go and change and um, uh, reset the passport for himself. I mean, and come and so how do you want to um, offboard? You want to suspend the user, delete the user, or archive the user. If you want to suspend the user, you just go and submit. If you want to delete the user, you go and say, we give you the option, would you like to transfer the data to another user? Yes. And we specify the data and we go and transfer it. And for archiving as well, we know we can go and say, just go and archive the user, like update the license to archive. So this is going to kick off a process like this. We have put a sample process for you to get it, but you can easily change it in, like everything else in Zenfi. So first thing it does, it goes and updates the recovery email and the password of the user. And then based on the decision, you know, if it's you want to suspend it or if you want to transfer data, you can easily um, go and if you have identified to transfer the data, we can easily go and say, you know what, go and transfer the data uh, from this user to this user. And these are the data we want to transfer and then go and delete the user. For archiving, is the same thing. So, and you can extend this, get approvals in between, you know, create a report and uh, also automate it. You can also go down here, run it on a schedule, go and say, for example, go and 
uh, find a list of inactive users and you can define what inactive means for you. Maybe a user has a locked in, maybe a user hasn't created a document in the last three, three months. And based on that, go and update their licenses or revoke their licenses, if you will. It's all automated, so you don't have to spend time and do them manually. The, the other very interesting um, uh, addition to this one is you, now you can export the Google Vault data to a cold storage of your choice. Uh, and for example, you can store a Google Vault data to Google Cloud Storage. That saves you a lot of costs because uh, so you don't have to pay for the archive user licenses and uh, or maybe for any other reason you may want to do that. You can easily do that, but it, again, through different systems, you can have a schedule a flow to go and find out inactive users or export the data, or you can have a form, a legal can send a request to export inactive data. It's quite easy again, you start export. It, these are all the things, by the way, you would have to write a script, but it's a GAN script or other types of script, you have to write a script and maintain those script and deal with the API updates and everything. But as but then if you look after all those things for you, they embed everything in one of these action blocks. So all you did here, you come and say, oh, you specify the methods you want to export, they specify the service, um, and you can put it on autopilot saying that every month go and export more archive user licenses, uh, uh, archive user vault data to this cold storage. And then with that cold storage, it's going to save you a ton of money depending on how, how many archive licenses you've got. Um, as I mentioned, you know, uh, the possibilities are endless. This is just part of it. You can embed uh, these functionalities as part of the bigger process, like as part of employee offboarding. You can automate it end to end. So you really, all you as an IT, all you, you're going to need to do is approve or reject a few things. Uh, but you can put in uh, autopilot and start focusing on those strategic projects, which your time is a lot better spent. Now, uh, to get it started, just sign up with Zenfi. And we have, as I mentioned, we have created a um, template for you as well to, to make it even easier for you. You can go and use this uh, Google Workspace template or create your own. And like, uh, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.